In this tutorial we will learn to create a fade effect from a full screen color in Unity 3D, fade in, and vice versa, fade out. There are several practical scenarios in Unity 3D where you may want to utilize camera fade in and fade out effects. Here are some examples. 1. Game start and end, fade in and fade out effects can be used to smoothly transition from the game start screen to the gameplay itself. Similarly, when the game ends, a fade out effect can provide a polished transition to the game over or victory screen. 2. Scene transitions, when switching between different scenes or levels in a game, a camera fade in and fade out can help create a seamless transition. It adds a professional touch and prevents abrupt changes, providing a smoother experience for the player. 3. Dialogue and cutscenes. Camera fade in and fade out effects can be used during dialogue sequences or cutscenes to emphasize specific moments or shifts in the narrative. They can help set the mood, create dramatic pauses, or signify the beginning and end of important story elements. 4. Respawning or restarting. When a player character respawns or restarts at a specific checkpoint in a game, a camera fade in effect can be applied to gradually bring the player back into the gameplay environment. This can prevent sudden transitions and provide a more immersive experience. 5. Camera changes or transitions. In games where the camera perspective or focus changes dynamically, fade in and fade out effects can be applied to smoothen the transition. For example, when switching from a first person perspective to a third person perspective or when moving between different camera angles or views. 6. Menu navigation. When navigating through menus or UI screens, using camera fade in and fade out effects can create a visually appealing transition between different menu options or screens. It adds a polished feel to the user interface and enhances the overall user experience. Remember that these are just a few examples, and the use of camera fade in and fade out effects can vary depending on the specific requirements of your game or application. Let us now learn how we can implement this by taking a real game situation where you might want to use a camera fade in and fade out effect, along with the corresponding code and implementation in Unity. Guys, please subscribe to my channel if you have not and stay till end of the video as it is going to be really interesting and useful. Here's a real game situation where you might want to use a camera fade in and fade out effect, along with the corresponding code and implementation in Unity. Game Situation, Game Over Transition Imagine a 2D platformer game where the player character has a limited number of lives. When the player loses a life and reaches a game over state, you can use a camera fade out effect to transition to a game over screen. Similarly, when the player restarts the level, you can use a camera fade in effect to transition back to gameplay. The implementation steps are as follows. Step 1. Create a new C Sharp script called Camera Fade and attach it to the main camera in your Unity scene. Open the script in your preferred code editor. Step 2. Add the required variables to the camera fade script. Public image fade image. This is used to reference to a UI image component used for the fade effect. Public float fade duration equals 1F. This is the duration of the fade effect. Private bool is fading equals false. It is a flag to track if fade effect is in progress. Private float fade timer equals 0F. It is a timer to track the progress of the fade effect. Now, let's break down each part of the code and its purpose. In the start method, we ensure that the fade image is active and set its initial color to black. Additionally, we start the fade in effect when the scene begins. The update method is called every frame. Here, we check if the fade effect is in progress, is fading. If it is, we update the fade timer based on the elapsed time and calculate the alpha value, transparency, for the fade image. We then update the color of the fade image with the new alpha value. If the fade effect duration is reached, we disable the fade image and stop the fade effect. The start fade in method is used to trigger the fade in effect. It enables the fade image, resets the fade timer to zero, and sets the is fading flag to true. The start fade out method is used to trigger the fade out effect. It enables the fade image, sets the initial color to transparent, alpha equals zero, resets the fade timer to zero, and sets the is fading flag to true. Step 3. Set up the UI image. In the Unity editor, select the main camera object in your scene. Add a canvas component to the main camera if it doesn't already have one. This will allow you to render UI elements in the camera's view. 
Create a UI image object as a child of the main camera's canvas. To do this, a right click on the main camera object in the hierarchy panel. B. Choose UI image from the context menu. This will create a new UI image object as a child of the main camera. Select the newly created UI image object in the hierarchy panel. In the inspector panel, you can customize the appearance of the UI image. I've set the rect transform size to cover the entire screen. In the inspector panel, find the rect transform component of the UI image. Set the width and height values to match the dimensions of the screen. You can do this manually by typing in the desired values or use the rect transform handles in the scene view to adjust the size visually. B. Customize the image appearance. You can assign a specific sprite or color to the image component of the UI image to define its appearance during the fade effect. To use a specific sprite, click the sprite field under the image component and select the desired sprite from your project's assets. If you prefer a solid color for the fade effect, you can leave the sprite field empty and modify the color property of the image component to choose the desired color. That's it. You have now set up the UI image for the camera fade effect. You can proceed with implementing the camera fade logic as described earlier in the code section. Step 4. Trigger the camera transition. To trigger the camera fade in and fade out effects, you can call the start fade in and start fade out methods of the camera fade script from other game objects or scripts in your scene. For example, when the player loses a life and reaches a game over state, you can use this code to trigger the camera fade out effect. Similarly, when the player restarts the level, you can use this code to trigger the camera fade in effect. Let us run the game once and check the fade effect. By following these steps and incorporating the camera fade in and fade out effects into your game, you can create smooth transitions between different game states or screens. We have covered everything for this tutorial. You can find all the scripts from link in description below. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for further motivating me to make more such interesting videos for you. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.